pretty cheap pistol, but you know, it's built like a typical Ruger. You know, it is that rugged and reliable design. Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Ruger Wrangler Single Action 22LR Revolver. So this is it here guys. Um, look, I'm going to talk about the price straight up with this. Um, you know, $450 here in Australia, um, about $250 in the US. I mean, it is a very cheap pistol. So, um, you know, this review is really going to put it to the test and um, you know just see if it really is just a great fun plinker i think it will be you know i in general i do like uh, ruger firearms they do make a good firearm in general so i'll show you all clear there. there's nothing there obviously in the cylinder and our hammer isn't cocked okay so let's show you what it comes with We've got the uh, ruger lock We've got uh, some promotional stuff here from ruger join the nra uh, fill out your registration details and uh, some more promotional stuff on Ruger products. Got a um, cylinder flag. And last of all, we've got the manual. Okay, so these here um, come in three different, uh, basically, uh, versions of models. Okay, so you can get the Wrangler in a uh, burnt bronze Cerakote, which this one uh, is that I've got here. Uh, or you can get it in black or silver, so your choice. Uh, 22LR is all that it comes in. It doesn't come with any you know, interchangeable cylinders, so you can't interchange it with like 22 Magnum or anything like that, okay? The uh, single six from Ruger, you can do that. Um, also too, there's um, obviously uh, a difference here with the uh, rear sights. This is just an integral uh, rear sight and uh, you know, that fixed front uh, blade there. Now the barrel length on this is 4.62 inches or uh, 117 millimeters, which is fine for sports use for revolvers here in Australia. Now six shot uh, cylinder, so you know it's not, not a heap of magazine capacity by any means, but still enough for you to have a bit of fun with. Now it is single action, so what does that mean if you don't know? Basically, unlike a standard double action revolver, you can't just pull the trigger, okay? You must cock the hammer every time, and then you can pull the trigger from there, okay? Like a lot of the old Western movies you see, you know, when they're pulling the trigger um, after they've cocked the hammer each time. Same sort of uh, thing, okay? Now the trigger pull on this, I have measured it, extremely light, beautiful, at uh, just over two pounds, about 2.2 pounds. So, you know, you don't have to do anything to the trigger straight out of the box, it's just beautiful. Now we've got uh, synthetic uh, grips there, Obviously, uh, it's, it's, it's all metal, okay? We've got a steel uh, cylinder here, alloy um, frame, and uh, yeah, there's just no polymer on this or synthetic other than the actual grips uh, just here. Overall weight, we're looking at uh, 30 ounces or 850 grams, so, um, you yeah, know, it just feels nice in the hand. I must admit, you know, I'm not a fan of uh, single action revolvers, so this is gonna be the first one that I've actually reviewed, but yeah, just in the hand, just feels really nice, I can't complain. Now, it is made in the USA, being um, a uh, Ruger, and as I say, you know, the price point at $450 here in Australia is, um, you know, very, very good value. But anyhow, how does it shoot? Let's get out to the range now and uh, put it through its paces. All right, so I'll run through the ammo we'll use through the Ruger. So we'll start off with the 40 grain uh, SK Standard Plus. Then we got uh, CCI Standard, which is also 40 grain. Then we got some of the 40 grain um, subsonic hollow points from RWS. Then we've got the 40 grain uh, hollow point from uh, Federal Premium, which is the Federal Hunter Match. And then last of all, we've got the high velocity hollow points from RWS, which are also 40 grain. All right, so let's start off. We've got a target there at 10 meters. 
and we'll just see how we go, which one the Ruger likes. All right, so having a look at a couple of the uh, groups here, I mean, look, you know, it is uh, unsupported, obviously, but, um, you know, the first for the SK uh, Standard Plus, I mean, geez, it threw some rounds there, so definitely not good there. The CCI Standard, yep, really nice, very happy with that. Same story with the uh, RWS Subsonic, very happy with that. The uh, Federal Hunter Match, yep, not too bad. Then we come down to the RWS uh, high velocity and yeah, sort of spread a bit there as well. So honestly, I think probably my pick would be just CCI standard. It's the uh, cheapest ammo and uh, you know, obviously it gives you a lot more rounds to plink with. All right, so loading the cylinder is uh, <laughs> very time consuming. Just got to get it nicely lined up, otherwise you can obviously scrape a little bit on the frame there. Okay, so unloading, because <laughs> you can't push the cylinder out, you've just got to line it up, push the rod through from there. Okay, so <laughs> a little bit slow if you're used to more modern revolvers. Okay guys, so I'll wrap up my final thoughts on the Ruger Wrangler. Now, look, pretty cheap pistol, but you know, it's built like a typical Ruger. You know, it is that rugged and reliable design. 
Uh, look, I had a lot of fun with it. You know, it is fun to shoot. The real frustrating thing though is having to, you know, uh, reload it, unload it. You know, that's the more time consuming part. Um, as for the accuracy out of it, look, you know, I had a heap of fun there with the CCI standard. Just, uh, you know, it's so cheap to buy. You've got a cheap pistol here. What a great combination. Just to have some great plinking fun at the range. So, uh, yeah, look, if you like single action revolvers, I can't see you going wrong with one of these. Um, very, very well priced indeed and a lot of fun. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. So till next time, we'll catch you then.